So I got the arms all in the other day. Um, went for a test drive and it rubbed like crazy. Just sort of a given I suppose. Being that the wheel was actually further up. Um, so I did a bit of alignment on it. Um, spun the old caster arms to bring the wheel back a bit. Um, but the main issue that I was having is more rubbing up in this corner here. Um, right, yeah, I suppose right where the bumper meets the guard. Um, so yeah, just been trying to remedy that. And turns out on a factory car you actually have a brace from here to here, which I have never had. Which it turns out I did actually have. They were sitting in the shed. Um, I never knew what they were, but now I do. Um, so I've just gone and actually put pop the hole in the line up as but as you can see it's quite a way away from where it should be um, so the idea with that is that it's actually going to pull my guards out which will give me way more clearance and I won't have any rubbing issues um, which will be real nice because yeah, it was actually quite bad it's that bad that it's actually cracked the paint here because um, it's pulled this inner tab like hard down um, so yeah, just about to slap some paint on these, tie them up, and then bolt them in. Um, but yeah, otherwise, um, super happy with the swap, it was easy as. Um, super happy that I went nolithane ends, as turns out the ones that I had on there um, were factory and shot. Um, so it actually explains why I was getting quite a bit of a knock sort of thing through the steering wheel. Um, so yeah, nolithane bushes in there. K30 arms and it's good, it's sick, a little bit more camber, uh, looks pretty wild, um, makes a rear look kind of weak, uh, which I can fix with spaces, so that's alright, but yeah, otherwise, pretty cool, pretty cool mod, um, I've had a few questions on um, if they were just bolt-in, like I suppose if you had a factory 86, and you just went straight to K30 arms um, I th think yeah I'm pretty sure that you'll need to have adjustable caster arms um, just where the bolt holes line up it comes that much further out that the factory arm I don't think will reach or it will but your whole wheel will be pulled in um, so yeah K30 arms you need to probably have caster arms which pff, they're cheap enough and easy enough to find so there's no no brainer there really but yeah it just gives you that sort of plus 15 mil um, track width in the front um, and yeah I'm considering I'm thinking if you had factory mounts that actually are here that hold the bumper you might get away with it without it rubbing because I think they pull the guard a bit out anyway um, but of course I had all the holes welded up, being as I um, sort of just de-hold the engine bay. Um, so yeah, otherwise good to go again. gappy now hopefully it's got less of a chance of coming into contact um, before I could barely get a finger in here um, that's pumped out quite good and then yeah same with the other side matchy matchy again quite a quite a space um, if it still doesn't help then I need to revise the mounting and maybe have a screw further back that actually holds it in um, and trim all this off um, but we'll see how this goes but yeah that, that's a bit annoying 
on crack the paint. Oh well. So yeah, see see how that works.